Hola, hola, this is your boy Tico Trend, and this is going to be another video about matriarchies. Because I already know that I'm going to get a bunch of comments in the comment section saying, well, there's got to be something good that comes out of the matriarchy. There's got to be something good that comes out of the matriarchal society. Um, yes and no. There, yeah, yes and no. I would say there's only like one thing that comes out of a matriarchal society that's good. The rest... It depends on how you interpret it or look at it. The rest, I really don't deem as good things. I mean, docile men, I don't really deem that as a good thing. Men running around here with skinny boy jeans, I don't really deem that as a good thing. Men that are castrated and or, you know, emasculated, I don't really count that as a good thing. And or picking people based on how they look, tender style, to lead the tribe, not a great idea. It's just facts. If you give women too much power, they do shit, not logically, because it because that's the popular person. It's kind of like the popular vote for the most part. Let's just say there's the popular vote and then there's the actual electoral vote. Let's just say all the men vote for the proper guy. The proper guy for the most part. That's the actual, that's the actual electoral vote basically. We'll just say that the women doesn't like the, their candidate that they vote for, so they vote for the handsome guy. The handsome bumbling idiot. That's the popular vote. That's where the, that's where shit that's where shit fall, starts breaking down in those types of societies, and this is where shit gets twisted in a lot of those societies because you see the women do it on these dating apps for that very reason. But the sad part about that is back to the good things that actually the good thing that actually comes out of a matriarchal society. I actually spoke about this when I spoke about my grandmother. Um, the only thing good that comes out of a matriarchal society, and it, it and it depends on a guy. You can't be some weak ass guy and this actually pan out for you. Is the hybrid woman for the most part, the one that you know, take care of the house, take care of the kids, go to work and participate in the household and put all our money in the bank and pay all the, pay, help pay all the bills for the most part. That is the only thing that comes out of a matriarchal society. That is the only good thing that comes out of a matriarchal society. Because not only is she putting in the work in the household, she's putting in work outside the household and she's not a drain on her husband for the most part because she's helping her husband. She sees, she doesn't see she doesn't see working as independent. She see working as participating in her household and making her household better. And she gets her work schedule to fit her schedule, her family schedule for the most part. That is the only thing that good that comes out of a matriarchal society. The only thing. And women always think, well, if we had this matriarchal society, everything would be great. Well, no. The problem with a matriarchal society is women actually put in work in a matriarchal society. Women actually raise some children in a matriarchal society. This is where feminists get shit twisted or get shit convoluted in their dream for the most part. In a matriarchal society, women still do work. Women put in work. Women raise children. It's just facts. There's no other way to do it in a matriarchal society. It's, it is what it is. The strong don't survive in a, the strong. The strong don't really survive in a matriarchal society. It's the most popular person that survives in a matriarchal society. So, the most skilled and gifted person won't always be at the top of the top for the most part in the matriarchal society. It'll be the most popular person that's at the top of the top in a matriarchal society when it comes to males. Here's why matriarchal societies don't work. A good example of matriarchal societies not working is, like I said in another video, the inner city and abortion rates. Women, African American women, are more likely to get an abortion if it's to the educated lame than to Pookie and Ray Ray and Tyrone. It's just facts. To abort the smart kid, to abort the chance of having a smart, genetically smart baby for an idiot an idiot running around that fucks up shit and consumes shit. It's just facts. This is the problem with African American society today. 
Educated Lane wasn't cool enough for her, but she slept with him. But she feels guilty, so now she's at Planned Parenthood aborting Educated Lane's baby. That's cool. But the, sad, the fact of the matter is, 90, what, 90 percent of the, 90 to 95 percent of the babies aborted by African American women are to the Educated Lane. Only what a small percentage. The rest of are pretty much only. The rest of the babies that are uh, the rest of that percentage is pretty much that get aborted is by Tyrone or Pookie and Ray Ray. It's just facts. And usually there's end up being complications. Most of the times it ends up being complications, so that baby ends up being aborted for some reason because of complications. It's just facts. But I digress. Hi. 